Okay, so this car here, this is the 1977 uh, Gold Pontiac Firebird. And if you're familiar with Rockford, this is the car that he drove. Uh, this is the E Spirit. So there's the car right there. This is actually a replica. I was hoping it was one of the original Rockford cars because I know there, there are some original Rockford cars still roaming around. But this is the uh, same car, same paint job. Right there. And what they did with a car, they actually were formulas converted to the E Spirit cars. They were to make it look, you know, like an E Spirit so it'll go faster there in the TV series. But that's what they did. So the 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 real rock for cars were actually formula Trans Ams and they just converted them to the E Spirit model so he could do all the stunts and as you know uh, Jim Rockford uh, he did his own stunts he did all of his own driving and everything so but this is a pretty cool car I'm glad this this is probably my first uh, Jim Rockford car I've ever seen as far as you know being a show car and a replica I've never even seen a replica at all so but I just thought I'd show this to all the car buffs like myself so it's pretty cool so there it is man there's Jim Rockford I wonder if he's as tall as uh, this cardboard here I heard he's a pretty tall guy so I don't think he was as small as this cardboard though <laughs> See that okay. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, kind of look inside the car here. And the gentleman that owns the car here is gonna open the, pull the seat back. And there's the printing press. That, that's the printing press there, just like what Jim Rockford had in the uh, TV show. So that's pretty amazing that he has that. That's cool. And um, is there anything you want? Oh, he's got the sport coat too. There you go. That's pretty cool, wow. That's amazing. I mean, it's got the same interior. It's got his, uh, looks like his original autograph in there. Yeah, the actual visors have autographs. I can't get the driver's Oh, side. there you go. James Gunner actually said the driver's side. That is really neat. When did you have that signed? Uh, in 2011 or 12. Wow. Yeah, I actually took the visor out. Took it in uh, a very nice tool of a guy named John Whitaker was a gun across the car. He took it to Gunner's house and came inside it. That's really amazing because I know he was immobilized, I guess, because he was sick or something well, towards I, it. Yeah, he had some strokes and stuff. And yeah. He wasn't really that well near the end, but uh, yeah. But yeah, that's really a neat. Uh, I see the plaque in, uh, on the side there too. That's really, really nice. So this this is the real this is a real spirit though, right? Or, okay, because like I was explaining before to, to my uh, audience that they they a lot of the uh, cars used in the TV series was actually uh, Formula Trans Ams. They had the 400 engines in them to make them quicker. They had 400 so '77 because of emission standards they had to go with the 403 old engines. Okay. Formulas, right. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Wow. It's, uh, it's actually, uh, we call it like Topaz. A friend of mine in California has two cars like this on his show, and he can both had patches of that but put the paint on the car. Oh, wow. And one of them was actually, I uh, had somebody put a spoiler back on it, then painted the car, well, took the spoiler off, and lo and behold, the actual paint colors are right there. So. Wow, that's amazing. It's like the UPS. You ever heard about the UPS paint they have always oh, have like a special paint for the trucks that's true. That's true. so thank you so much for well, sharing the car it's really truly an honor to see see the rock for car you know really really nice and um, thanks again okay so uh, the gentleman that owns the car he's gonna pull the seat back thank you sir <laughs> sorry to make you pull the seat back again no, that's right. but